heading out of Silver City, starting with a five mile road walk. Back on trail and it is beautiful. So I've turned off of the official CDT route and taking the Gila alternate. I uh, hear a lot of really great things about the alternate, uh, a lot of river crossings, um, but people say it's one of the best alternates on the trail, so stoked about it. Got some crazy steep hills today and they are killing me. At least there are some pretty great views. All right, made it to the Gila River. Actually feels really good. Putting on wet shoes is my favorite part of the day. Yesterday, I crossed the Gila five times, but that is just a taste of what we're gonna have to do today. Um, here tell that there's at least 40 more crossings until we get to Doc Campbell, so it's gonna be a, a great day. My pack is so light, because I don't have to carry any water, so that's awesome. Ugh, I'm glad there's no alligators in here. So this is one of the reasons why we have to cross so much because the trail bounces between these canyon walls and so walk as far as you can until you hit a cliff, cross and walk as far as you can again until you hit another cliff. This is the 30th river crossing for the day. We got a big snake over here. Not a rattler. That's good. Hot springs. Crossing number 45. Looks like it's a deep one. All right, 45 crossings for today. And finish with the river for now. Spitting out into civilization for a minute. Uh, going to Duck Campbell's. It's weird, you don't really expect to see civilization when you're that deep into the wilderness, but it's there all along. Duck Campbell's. Alright, I picked up my resupply and now I'm headed back out for a couple more miles today. <clears throat> Tomorrow we will head over to the cliff dwellings and check those out in the morning. In the meantime, I'm going to stay at a campground here. So this was just behind our campsite. It's incredible to think that people lived in here. Came across some pictographs. Wow. So these dwellings belong to the Magoyan people. Uh, they say that there was only six to eight families who lived here for about 30 years. But they entered their homes from their roof, which was traditional style for their buildings, and they're only four feet tall. So they had tiny little doorways. You can still see the corn cobs that they had eaten. So there's no evidence saying that they built these cliff dwellings to protect themselves from invaders in the forest. They were traveling to escape the drought and this was a good place to build. So in this whole area there was a super volcano 
created all this rock that was able to erode away into these big alcoves. And then the Mogollon people uh, came and settled here. All right, taking a further alternate from the Gila alternate. This is supposed to take us down Little Bear Canyon, which is supposed to be incredible. Little Bear Canyon. Rejoins the Gila and starting our river crossings again. Just keeps getting better and better. Hot springs. Crossing number 50 for the day. Didn't get a lot of miles in because of all the cliff dwellings and hot springs, so I'm gonna be hiking late tonight. The first one of the day. Uh, that's cold. So I didn't sleep super well last night. I got another hole in my sleeping pad. It had been there for a while, but it's getting bigger. So woke up a lot to re up my air mattress and then Slept on the ground for the last half of the night. Uh, it's nice and cold this morning, which usually is great, but sipping in that water is not pleasant. Well, the cliffs have started to fade away and now headed into more wide open spaces, but there still will be a couple more river crossings coming up here. I believe this may be the last river crossing. Roughly 220 Gila River crossings later, we are headed out of the canyon. The whole Gila River section was about 55 miles through that canyon. The Snow Lake. Hiking late again tonight. It was close to freezing last night. It had to be. Um, it's very, very cold. And my sleeping pad seams are still ripping apart. So I patched three holes. And there's still another one because it kept sinking to the ground every hour. Um, so I didn't get a bunch of sleep. I shivered whenever I was awake. So there's no way I was getting out of camp early. Until that sun hit the hit the hills. Oh yeah, there's ice in there. Definitely got below freezing last night. So you hear a lot about road walks on the Continental Divide Trail. Uh, this is what a lot of the road walks are, though. Just gravel or dirt. Um, this one is a seven mile gravel road walk until we make a turn onto another road. Um, there is a lot of paved road walking too, don't get me wrong, but majority of the road walks are like this, kind of just glorified trails. That wind pushed me right along. Hello. Still on the road walk. It wasn't seven miles, it was actually closer to 20 something miles. Um, getting close to camp though. Thankfully it hasn't been too hot today with wind and shade. So that's helped a lot to get some good miles. Whoop, whoop. This is where the northern end of the Gila River alternate meets back with the CDT. So finally, back on the trail. It's 
So I'm finishing up the longest water carry I've had so far, about 20-ish miles. Um, yeah, through the desert. So, headed to the water. Night hiking. Hiked late last night to get some good miles in. Uh, taking the Pie Town Alternate, which happens to be the old CBT. Um, they remade it into the new one. Skipping that part, it ends with a 13 mile road walk. So instead, choosing this alternate route, which is a dirt road rather than a highway, and uh, better water sources on this. It's a little bit shorter. I have to get to Pie Town to pick up a package. Need to get there before it closes on Saturday, or else I have to wait all of Sunday, Monday morning before they reopen. So, 34 miles uh, to do in a day and a couple hours. So, we'll be walking for a while today. There's an old CDT trail marker back when this was the official route. Climbed up from down there this morning. Checking out a fire tower. Woohoo! So this place is awesome. Great hangout spot with electricity and Wi-Fi, all kinds of stuff. Sunrise hike to get to the post office in time. Did a 29 mile day yesterday to put us in a good position. No wonder my feet hurt. Well, this is the famous Pie Town, home of, well, nothing. Staying at Toaster House Hostel for the night.